Remember when I said earlier, I've never seen so many cowards and black men in this business. I would have to put my ideas. Listen to me. I would love to work with Eddie. Eddie, well, Eddie won't return my calls. So maybe one day we'll have a conversation. But it's been some tumultuous years for Tyler Perry, from the allegations of blacklisting actress Monique to reports of unfair working conditions for writers on his shows to the mistreatment of black actors. Now, comedy legend Eddie Murphy is weighing in on the controversy surrounding Perry, defending Monique, and revealing his reasons for not working with Perry, despite once being a close friend of his. So, what did Eddie Murphy have to say? And what's the reason he didn't work with Tyler? But before we reveal that, let's go back to some years ago when both Tyler Perry and Eddie Murphy shared a mutual respect. For the longest time, Tyler and Eddie had been great friends. These two had nothing but good things to say for each other. Eddie once even called Tyler this generation's real-life Dolmite. This truly is quite something, given that Eddie was portraying the role of Dolmite in the Netflix movie, Dolmite is my new name. This situation adds another dimension to their relationship. Murphy not only acknowledges Tyler, but also plays a character closely linked to him. However, Tyler's recent actions have rubbed Eddie the wrong way. As a staunch supporter of the black community, Eddie has always tried to support Tyler. But now things are getting complicated and Eddie couldn't help but speak out despite preferring to stay out of drama. When the rumors began swirling that Murphy was about to expose Perry for allegedly acting unfairly towards other black actors and actresses, everyone was listening. Many are eager to hear what Murphy has to say, especially given his long-standing reputation as a respected figure in Hollywood. Although Perry has faced Similar accusations in the past, Murphy's comments carry extra weight given his status and experience in the industry. Now, despite both men having long and successful careers in Hollywood, they have never worked together. The reason behind this are starting to become clearer, and it seems that there is more to the story than meets the eye. According to reports, Tyler Perry had tried to get Eddie on board for a project, even praising him as a major inspiration. Remember when Tyler acknowledged that Eddie's clumps was the inspiration behind his creation of Medea? Be on stage because I saw Eddie Murphy do the clumps. I thought he's got a lot of character. But here's the twist: Eddie didn't seem to acknowledge the praise, and things got chilly when Tyler mentioned reaching out to him in an interview, only to receive no response. I would love to work with Eddie. Eddie, well, Eddie won't return my calls. So maybe one day. We'll but it turns out that Eddie's long-standing distance from Tyler might stem from some shady business dealings. Insiders suggest that Eddie, with his sharp eye for spotting shadiness, may have sensed something unpleasant about Tyler. While Tyler Perry has achieved great success as a symbol of black entrepreneurship, rumors hint that his path to riches might involve some questionable tactics. Many people have tried to expose Tyler's alleged wrongdoings in the past. But they were not able to make a big enough splash. Eddie Murphy has stepped up to the plate, and he's ready to expose the darker side of Hollywood. Murphy's criticism of Perry doesn't stop at his alleged actions towards African Americans. According to Murphy, Perry's behavior extends to other minorities as well, including women. Murphy's claims echo those of actress Monique, who alleges that Perry financially lowballed her in 2009 after refusing to promote the precious movie for free. It's been 15 years since this all went down, and yet Monique is still feeling the effects. Monique has been vocal about the consequences of her experience with Tyler, and it's clear that the situation has had a lasting impact on her career. Despite occasional quiet periods, the conflict has never been resolved. In a revealing interview with Shannon Sharp, Monique laid out the full extent of the damage caused by her alleged mistreatment by Tyler Perry and his friend, Oprah Winfrey. According to Monique, the fallout from the situation led to her being blacklisted from Hollywood, costing her family tens of millions of dollars. She also claims that Perry and Winfrey used their influence to spread negative rumors about her, saying that she's difficult to work with and to damage her reputation. In the three-hour-long podcast, Monique recounted the story of how Perry allegedly told her that he would never do anything to harm her, only to later spread rumors that she was difficult to work with. Meanwhile, Tyler has repeatedly denied Monique's blackballing accusations, which was why she was furious. I hurt you, but the conversation kept going on, only for Tyler Perry to admit he did start a rumor. She also revealed that he demanded a public apology from her to him and other public figures in the industry like Oprah. This is just one example of what Tyler is capable of. While he has publicly advocated for the black community, Monique feels that his true priorities lie elsewhere. 
I've never seen so many cowards and black men in this business. I would have to put my brother... The feud didn't stop there. Tyler defended his stance of asking Monique to promote the movie for free by saying, I'm not in the business to write checks and give away money. He says, well, I don't believe in giving money away for free. But Monique also stood her ground and fired back. Tyler, I'm not in the business to work for free. I said, I don't believe in working for free, so we're on the same page. Tyler Perry has indeed managed to avoid major scandals over the years, likely due to his wealth and connections with the industry. However, some people see through him. One person expressed dislike for Perry's tendency to portray women in his films in a manipulative way, along with his criticizing the repetitive nature of his movies. Another even questioned why people of color believe others have their best interests at heart, highlighting the reality that many only prioritize themselves. In fact, Tyler did seem to be prioritizing his needs above others. The firing of the entire writing team for not matching his vision of the perfect script is just one example. But reportedly, he fired the writers for their involvement in union activities during the writers' strikes. Also, Tyler's studio was accused of negotiating in bad faith with the WGA while it sought a contract for the writers on Tyler's cable TV series, House of Pain. It's worth noting that the four dismissed writers were all African Americans who collectively contributed to over 100 episodes. In a similar vein, Tyler reportedly declined to agree to a WGA contract that would provide health care, benefits, and pensions for the writers. The writers claimed Tyler had warned them weeks before to be cautious about pushing for the WGA deal, suggesting they could be replaced. Meanwhile, Tyler's work has been criticized for reinforcing certain harmful stereotypes about the black community. His casting choices and storytelling reflect some of the biases that exist within Hollywood, and his films have been accused of perpetuating negative depictions of darker-skinned actors, mostly portraying them as villains. While Tyler claims to be depicting reality, critics argue that his work is contributing to harmful perceptions and limited opportunities for actors of color. While critics have pointed out how Perry's work may be harmful to the black community, he has not backed down from his creative vision. He even acknowledged that... Uh, For me, I I love... Uh, the movies that I've done because they are the people that I grew up with that I represent. While the world moves away from such narratives, Tyler remains dedicated to honoring his roots and the individuals who shaped him. There's no denying Tyler's hard work to carve out his place in Hollywood, a feat achieved by few black individuals. However, it appears he has also capitalized on black talent over the years. It's a complicated situation. Tyler isn't financially struggling. And with his considerable influence, his work could be more impactful. Yet it seems money is his primary concern. And by using other artists, he's amassed a significant fortune of $1 billion. Some argue that Perry's wealth has come at a steep price, with reports of him underpaying and mistreating his employees. It's understandable why respected actors might hesitate to work with his studio. Accusations of government cheating, mistreatment, and creating a hostile environment with unwanted advances have plagued Perry. The idea that Tyler Perry studio schedule was so drastic. If you're working on a regular network show, they take a whole week to film an episode. Tyler Perry Studios, they film an episode in one day. Despite moving away from his early comedies, he continues to face criticism in Hollywood. With the rumors emerging from inside his studio, it's not surprising that more and more actors are declining to work with Tyler Perry. As more stories about his treatment of actors emerge, the idea of Tyler Perry shutting down his studio might not be surprising. Continuous revelations are damaging his reputation in the movie industry, leaving it permanently tarnished. Once seen as untouchable, Perry now struggles to find actors willing to collaborate with him. This is a significant setback for someone who played a big role in Hollywood. Rumors suggest a connection between Perry and Oprah Winfrey with speculation that they use their power to potentially blacklist artists who don't align with their preferences. If true, such allegations would suggest the possible misuse of their influence in the industry to control or manipulate the careers of others. Even the audience is voicing their opinions. One person mentioned not supporting Tyler Perry's movies due to dislike, while another compared his movies to old blackface plays. It appears Tyler Perry's fame is diminishing, and his questionable actions may soon be fully exposed. Do you think this spells the end of Tyler Perry's time in the industry? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. That wraps up today's video. If you've enjoyed it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more content just like this.